Hi guys, Dan's Dollars here. A question in then from Oliver X. Can you do a review and evaluation on the 2016 Peter Rabbit 50p? So here is the coin then, the first of three different Peter Rabbits to be released into UK circulation from between 2016 and 2018. There was two more Peter Rabbits, one made in 2019 and also one last year in 2020, but neither of those ever did make it into UK circulation. On the front of the coin then we have got the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II looking to the right, Elizabeth II Roman numerals for two there on the right hand side. At the top we've got the year the coin was made, 2016, to the left of that 50 pence to coins face value and there's some more lettering there on the left and this stands for by the grace of God, defender of the faith. We'll flip the coin over then to see Peter Rabbit himself there in the middle of the coin and Peter Rabbit either side of him there in lettering. Some people do like to call this 50 pence coin the Peter Rabbit full face half whisker and as you can see on the left hand side one of his whiskers there is only half the length as the other ones. When these did come out a lot of people did say that they were error coins with the half whisker on the left hand side but that is indeed how the coin was designed so definitely don't fall for that one. I know a lot of people do put them on eBay saying the error coins with the half whisker there but that again is exactly how the coin was supposed to be designed. What we'll do now is we'll look at the mintage figure of this coin, exactly how many was made. And the general rule doesn't always apply, but most of the time it does. The lower the mintage figure, the higher the coin's value. So back in 2016, there was actually 9.6 million of this coin made for circulation. When you compare that to the rarest two from the Beatrix Potter series, the Flopsy Bunny and the other Peter Rabbit from 2018, they only had a mintage figure of 1.4 million. It does show that this coin is quite common indeed. If it has been in used condition, it is really only going to be worth its face value of 50 pence. If you've got a perfect uncirculated version like I have here, it will be worth £1 all day long. Due to the fact that people really do want these perfect uncirculated Beatrix Potters for their collections. So I really do hope this helps. Like I say, definitely keep an eye out for those rarest two. The Flopsy Bunny and the Peter Rabbit from 2018. Around the £7 mark if you are lucky enough to find one of those. The fourth rarest, the most valuable is the Jemima Puddle Duck. She comes in now 10 to £11 for a circulated version. And she is getting up to that £15 mark now for a perfect and circulated. So if you do find a good quality one of those, what an amazing day it has been for you. So I hope that video helps you all guys. As always, if you do have any questions, hit them below. And as always, thanks for watching.